This is a continuation of uh, Boban's talk, although I don't know what he actually talked about. So uh, I will be reminding you of stuff so you will tell me to, to skip you some of this long and boring. So, can you see your affiliation with the design? I still don't know what Boban said. Uh, I think no. But Boban said was wrong. Yeah, I need to go uh, add some bone as well, I think. After this. And say, yes, yes. But, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not Simon. Uh, it's not? Uh, it's, uh, you, I miss Z? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, our setup is that phi is a consistent infinite recompositional formula, and uh, this is wrong. so kappa is larger than a phi in the necessity of phi. So, this is a technical assumption, it's kappa, but um, so H is the process consisting of all consistent finite subformula, sets of subformulas of phi ordered by inclusion. Um, so this is the is kappa bigger than kappa five. Yeah, it, it's bigger. It's the type of yeah. yeah. So uh, okay, so proposition in V uh, H there exists a model for five. Uh, this is more or less trivial because we just that's the argument. You get a complete theory and then you build a model for five. But the issue is that in general H collapses omega one. So we want to define a faucet P kappa, which also has a model for phi, which is in addition stationary set reserving, in particular it doesn't collapse omega one. Uh, why we so here you can ask what happens like can you have the seven proper or sorry, 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 yeah, because if I consistently there is a model for no, I don't mean so uh, consistent actually you have, but this is uh, essentially L L theta omega formula or how, how, I mean, it doesn't matter you, you can prove theory for phi. Okay. Uh, so you, you have or take ordinary natural deduction and then just extend the, these rules for for infinite point. So uh, alternatively, there is this thing, and this will be important. So, but I somehow think that Bowen says what it is. There is this model existence game. So you can say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's equivalent. It's equivalent. Not proving a contradiction and having a good player test screen strategy model existence. So, so just make sure in this system too, this would be like conjunction introduction and some kind of conjunction elimination for. Infinitary that's all as far as infinitary rules go. Yeah, yeah. So your standard rules are just explained. But the thing is, three trees will be infinite, although it well bounded. In the, in our context, all proofs will be element of the kappa three. So it's not enough to say there's no finite proof for something. No. Consistent? So there's only an H, like I said. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you mean, <laughs> uh, so in H, there are. You don't have a pulsar. And H is made of finite sets of subordinates for fine. So you go into the structure and you take everything. Right, but I'm saying consistent means there's no finite proof of pulsar. Uh, no. Right. It yeah. consistent with respect to the rules. Yeah. And the rules are infinite, so it's not the same as saying everybody. So for, yeah, there is no proof of yeah, bottom, but uh, where proofs are not finite anymore. So it's okay. like okay. like a big conjunction implies every function. Right. And every set formula implies a big disjunction. Okay. Okay. So now, now we solve this problem, like how to, to make the process easier for pick up a station setting. Obviously, it should not be a complete sub process because you can make pick up a real post. So I need to review notation. So, uh, so E is an ordinal in kappa, uh, such as V lambda is elementary in kappa. So these things will index our construction. 
Uh, for all lambda in E, still lambda denotes the set of all countable M satisfying the following. M is elementary in its transitive order, which the model is C minus. So this is what, what is kind of a formal definition of a virtual model. Okay. Essentially, this is a generalization of a countable model of H theta. Only here you have some model, uh, some model of C C minus not necessarily H theta. And uh, if A is elementary in any such model, you can show that it must be elementary in the transitive order. So this is as general as possible. Uh, and uh, M contains P and contains P lambda as an element. In particular, a, a transitive closure of M has all B lambda in it, like uh, as a subset. Mm -hmm. And uh, M, uh, and this, uh, this is a minimality condition. M here, uh, so uh, transitive closure of M is half of M, comma B lambda. By this, I mean functions from M generators from B lambda. So, and if you think of this M, like if you collapse it and then anti collapse it to M here, you have an elementary bandage, which is essentially extender. So, this says that the JC extender is a uh, lambda strong, and uh, everything is generated, and all generators are in lambda. For all M elementary in the transit flow, okay, so for all transit, oh, what I want to say, for all M which are virtual models, and for all ordinals lambda. We denote by M projection lambda the image of M under the transitive collapse of how M V lambda. So what I mean here, uh, if I give you any transitive model, it may not, uh, it maybe doesn't satisfy this condition. Yeah, but you can always take how you can take so functions from M generated from V lambda that makes some other model, uh, which is again which is not necessarily transitive, but then you transitive I see. And then you, you get the third condition, essentially. So this is an important part of our construction. Uh, ah, and I note here if M is C lambda. So uh, aha, uh, C lambdas are defined here. So I will just say that uh, M has strength lambda because that, that's unique now. Lambda is the strength of M because, uh, because of this minimality condition. It cannot have more than one strength. So, uh, if M has strength lambda and psi is something below lambda, uh, do we have that M projected to psi is in C psi? Well, it will have strength lambda, but C psi, or oh, this is the point that C psi is a bit more because it requires that B lambda is in M. So there is no reason once you project, so you build your model, but you might maybe don't have inside this psi because there are many psi's and M is transitive. So that's just a... no. I mean, okay. So psi might might be like like a real generator. That's my point. Meaning that it doesn't it's not generated from anything below. Uh, okay, and then for for a set of ordinals S, C S is just the union of all C lambdas where lambda is in S. Uh, okay, I, I'm sorry for this. Uh, it's I think unfortunate then to go. And then you can like C zero kappa, they're just all models. But let's call them C for correct. That's what it says. So it's correct as lambda. So it's a bit more than just strong as lambda. And lambda uh, M denotes the, the, the strength of M. Okay. Okay, so suppose now that you're either E, lambda is either E or is it the, the final top kappa? So you, you pose it. Uh, then uh, we will define a set of preconditions P lambda star. Uh, P is a precondition if it has a working part W and a side condition part MP, where working part is in this H, which we had in the very beginning, so consistent terms of subformulas. And P is a finite subset of P letter beta. So all of MP, uh, those are models, uh, uh, those are uh, correct uh, models, uh, but their uh, length uh, must be strictly uh, uh, lambda, so it's H lambda. So even more than that. And uh, also for all, all two, for all M and N, which are inside condition part, uh, if they have the same, their term will be known intersection with omega 1. So if they are like, uh, M and N have the same intersection with omega 1, they must be equal. 
and if n has a lesser intersection with omega 1 than n, then n is an element of n, and strength of n is less than strength of n. So you can, you can you have essentially three ways to compare side conditions. You can compare them uh, either using epsilon, which is a traditional way of comparing, comparing side conditions, you can compare them using intersection with omega 1, and you can compare them using strengths, and it's all the same. I don't really forget what the other thing is. Uh, 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 that's the inter intersection with omega 1. So for m, delta m, or alternatively, the, the first ordinal which is not in m. Uh, or critical point of the anti collapse value. So, uh, mm -hmm. how do you compare conditions? But not, but not M and M from the host, or is it just the count of the count? No, from the host. Uh, M and M are countable, yeah. But um, they are very large in, into the universe. So, what is this restriction? There is restriction. No, so this is just sort of a. Uh, mm -hmm. M and M are. Uh, so I said C less than other, so you use this notation. And then that's just the union of, of, of all these C psi, psi less than lambda. So uh, they are countable models, elementary net transitive closures. But their strengths, so these these Vilandas which generate them in this way, well, in our at K at stage lambda, they even generate a little bit of a big size. But they're not restrictions, right? They're not the actual. They're not the you mean these restrictions? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is the, the same thing. Uh, essentially, if you have a model at C lambda, if you're at, at if M is at, in C lambda, uh, you, you, you can take anything below and do this projection, and that will be now modeled in six cyber size. So you can use it now in, in, in P lambda star. Okay. Uh, I mean, there are really, uh, you, you, we describe them locally. So there is no guarantee. So you, you can say if you have something elementary, some virtual model very high or very high rank in the universe, and then you do projection. You, you can make sure that that's kind of very good and then you can use it as a type condition. It's a local definition. If you were asking that. So, um, P is less than equal to Q if the working part of P extends working part of Q. And uh, for all N which are side conditions in a weaker condition, so in Q, there exists M in the, in the side condition part of a stronger condition P, such that, uh, so, before I say, uh, so not every not everything from Q is in P, not every side conditions, but they are morally there by by saying there is something else which just pattern them, patterns them. But uh, so you don't change the intersection with omega one, you don't change the trend, but you can pattern the model. So and oh, of course, in 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 the stronger condition, you can have other. You can add models, but you, you need kind of to, to keep essentially the, the previous one. So for all P which are preconditions in lambda and from lambda bar which is below lambda in this E set, we denote by P restricted to lambda. Bar, P lambda P restricted bar. to lambda bar. Yes. To, to lambda bar, yes. So, mm -hmm. uh, so you, you keep all of the working part, but regarding the, the side conditions, M in MP, you just take those lambda M, those M which are, whose lambda is less than lambda bar in here. 
se ju bi utro ovaj condition se če tu stron. Er, saj condition se če tu stron. Ok, so, suppose that P is P lambda star, it's a precondition, so then we define gain G lambda of P, which allows us to choose conditions amongst pre. So, G lambda P is the gain of length omega, played as follows. So, set first P minus 1 is just P. Uh, in the round n less than omega, player 1 plays the question qn, and player 2 plays an answer pn, which is a precondition. Uh, and this uh, precondition is satisfying pn is less than or equal to pn minus 1, so you, he, he needs to go down with this precondition. So what are the questions? Uh, question can be a formula of pi. So pn minus 1 is a current play. Uh, so, so now first play asks a question which is phi in the working part of W P and minus one, where phi is a disjunction of some formulas. Then the second player answers by P N and he he needs to pick some some of the formulas, one formula in disjunction, and put it in the working part of P N. Um, now he uh, well. If Qn is phi comma up, okay. So if I'm going to assume that this phi is in the conjunctive normal form. Ah, yes. Uh, I, no, not conjunctive normal form. It's important not to assume that because it uh, reduces generality. Uh, it suffices to assume that uh, the starting formula is uh, in a negation normal form. Yeah. Okay. So all negations are next to propositional letters. Uh, so, uh, uh, if, okay, so I will tell you, uh, if in the current working part you have a conjunction of formulas, then the, the first player can pick any of contracts, and the, the second player is required to, to answer by putting it inside the new working part. But so the working part can be very big uh, inside. But finite. But if this uh, conjunction is infinitary? Uh, but if uh, at the given move, this, the first player can only pick one conjunct. So there okay. is. A but which conjunct he picks? Whatever he wants, yeah. Okay. okay. So the restriction is just that the player has to pick one of the conjuncts. Uh, yeah, first player okay. picks one. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he, he may or may not. He, he, you can. There is many things that are given, very many things which... Uh, so in either case, whether it is a disjunction or a conjunction, the first player has to pick a formula in the conjunction or a formula in the disjunction. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no actually. I mean, he picks a conjunction or disjunction. But if he picked conjunction, the first player, mm -hmm. then uh, picking a disjunct is up to the second player. So first player says, Okay, so these PNs, they are kind of moves of, of, the, mm -hmm. of the second player, good player, second mm -hmm. player. So first player says, you, in this year, in this year, first player says to the second Which one is true, and they yeah, take yeah. CI. And second player decides to take CI. Second player, yes, because uh, kind of the second player is the one playing mm -hmm. the disc. Yes. But in the other case, I mean, then first player says, look, this conjunction is true, so first, second player should take all of them. Yeah, but we want to keep aside the working part final. Uh -huh. So the, the, first, the, second, the first player says, okay, you have this disjunction, you play this This conjunction? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I will be one index. So this is the, 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 the move of the first layer. Is ah, the okay. It's saying I'm choosing that one as the true one. Yeah. Okay. So the okay. other layer is okay. Okay. fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the uh, she was working on the disjunction uh, normal form. And then she was on the disjunction right? Because then you, like, he, he makes, he, like, the clauses in the resolution so that everything is by design here now. And he says, player one, and then may get player two. So player one is a disjunction, and then player two is a disjunction, but this is a disjunction. Mm -hmm. So it's like a question and answer thing. I don't know. Says, but essentially, he's gained, if, if it is just disjunction normal form, 
the game would last like two rounds or something. No, no, no. Uh, you know, like everything changes. Oh, you can go back. Okay, I mean, it's capital player says, okay, which of those is which of this injunction is true, and the witnessing player has to answer, okay, so the, in this injunction, it will be this literal, mm -hmm. and in this injunction, this literal, and so on and so forth. And so, I mean, every formula has a disjunctive normal form, but that's not absolute uh, in the um, between forcing and mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so you know what's, what's, what's like, the problem was, was not present in those conversations because he can maybe was maybe what well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I also also from this part of the reactive concept. Okay. Um, so when when player two chooses PM, he has to look at what kind of the face why I wear there in uh, the WPM concept. And, and for those, she has to accept the sign line. But then for the if she starts finding the WPM answer, then she can choose. That's the difference between consumption and disjunction. Okay. Uh, the, work, the, the working part also changes along the construction. So uh, is the working part still the finite set of literal that have been so far? Because I, I, yeah, the key part is all, no, not literal, it's all, all sub formulas. But can <coughs> yeah. sub formulas of the sure, I think. Uh, no, no, uh, my, my, it goes to sleep. Uh, it's also, uh, um, the game is played there. Uh, so this is like before, the, okay, we have first session. Before the game, this five, five minus one, this is just a uh, okay, so, so this, this is on, on the second leg. So then a question is played, let's say Q0, and then the second leg is an answer P2. Yes, so I understand what the question is in case of suspension. What, 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 what is the question in case of suspension? Uh, it's a big factor. It's essentially the player one is, has taken a, one of the conjuncts in the infinite, in the infinite conjunct. Ah, uh, okay. That, that be... And uh, say you have to pick that conjunct. So actually, it would be that player two in this case is given the clause that it's an infinite conjunction and player one is picking one of the conjunctions. No, because it's actually because if phi, if phi is an infinite conjunct, if capital I is infinite, then psi I has to go to W or B and for infinite to many I. Because, because of this formulation that phi I, if you have that phi I is in the W and B and so on. Then, because W by n minus 1 is finite, it will be fine. But now, for every little i in the big i, if that infinite conjunction happens to be in the condition, it has to be in the next condition. So the next condition has to be infinite. No, because the player one has chosen, has chosen the index. You see, the move is the pair of phi and phi. So uh, only one i is played. So oh, okay, 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 I was wrong, I was wrong. Yes. But this is the move. Yes. So, uh, uh, no. Okay, so these two moves are from the model existence games. A model existence game, and they are played only on the working part, essentially. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, if you just okay, so the, the, this would actually give you just age. I mean, if you, I mean, if you did the position of the positive, okay, it doesn't matter. The, the, the point is that now we, we need a what is the um, additional the additional move uh, is this one, so which concerns the side condition part. So if Qn is a pair MD where M is a model in the side condition part of the current move, Pn minus 1, and D is an element of M, so there are only countably many options for D. D is a dense set in P lambda M. So I, I will just explain this. So M is a, a M has its strength, which is strictly less than lambda, and the, this definition is recursive. Definition of positive. So we are now 
uh, we, we now know what is p lambda p sub lambda m because the lambda m is strictly less than lambda m is defined recursively. So it's a sum process, and you pick a d then z in that process, but which is in your side side countable side condition model. Okay, then that's, that's the question, the first layer moves. The second layer must answer with a condition PM. So what is it? So he needs to meet the following. There, is, there exists Q in D, such that Q can be added, Q can be added to M without increasing the intersection with omega one. And PM, Pn must extend the current plane, Pn minus 1, and this Q, which player, uh, player 2 found. So Q is never played, but it's essential. This kind of what you see. Uh, it's in, it just in this. Okay, player 2 wins those infinite plays, such as the set, like the, the union over all ends, Wpn does not contain both an atomic formula and its deviation. So uh, the, 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 the union is now, this is an infinite, the count of, uh, countable sum. Uh, but it, it must not be obviously inconsistent, meaning that there is a form uh, P and not P. Uh, when I say atomic formula, I mean propositional. I mean, so the... Uh, no, can you not move the slide? Okay. Uh -huh. So we, because uh, being um, stationary, okay, so, so we will need to verify uh, semi properness for a bunch of models. That's, that's what, what is the goal of this construction and so on. Okay, so let's say we have this M, which is in the side condition, but we want somehow to express the idea that then the the, the poset is semi-proper for this M. And there is this characterization of semi-properness, and this is just essentially just that. So for every D in M, and for every then set, for, for, every, for, for every then set in M, and for every condition in, in the then set. Uh, when I say this will be this every condition, you need to find one condition in D uh, which, which is compatible with that condition. So this is like what, what does it mean for P and minus one to be semi-generic for M? Uh, no, it, it should be in M in the proper case. In the semi-proper case, it can be outside of M, but you need to be able to add it to M in a way that doesn't need this perception. Uh, so definition, P lambda is the sum order of P lambda star consisting of those preconditions P for which player two wins G lambda of P. So the, the game, uh, player two is the good player. So the game tells you which preconditions are conditioned. Then you did discard the other ones. So uh, I mean, uh, I, I assume now Bowen told you this, but okay, we obviously have a lot of lambdas. And the, and the final lambda is kappa, because I, I took that option as possible. You mean player two as a winning star? Yeah, 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 I mean that. Yeah. Well, I used to say that. Maybe not that. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and then I, maybe I, then I note here that G, G lambda of P is a closed game. So, it's kind of one of the players is a winning strategy, and there is an absolute split that will be. Okay, so th this is what uh, the definition. Uh, suppose theta is more than kappa, so it's a large enough regular, and m is an elementary in H theta, that's a countable model. So what a, then m is good, 
This model M is good if for all conditions in P kappa intersection M, there exists a condition in P kappa and some lambda in E such that, okay, um, lambda is large enough. So when you, you take all ordinals of M below kappa, lambda must be below above their soup. Uh, condition Q strengthens P and uh, M when projected to lambda is in the side condition of the part of Q. So intuition, we, we, so if you know the standard arguments using the uh, uh, side conditions, uh, you know that you essentially verify that P is a generic condition. You, you, you verify this uh, existence of generic condition by saying, okay, I take P in my posted and in my model, and then I take the model and add it in the side condition part. That's how, and when you add it, you get a new condition, it turns out it's generic or semi-generic or whatever you think. Well, this is the same thing that we do here, only we cannot add our model, but we need to project it. So our model, so we have, um, we have kappa here, and our model has some, some, some stuff here and then some stuff here. So we don't want to take an intersection, that's a bad move. Uh, but we need to keep somehow these things which are about kappa as well. But in order to add the model, we need to, to put it below kappa, and we do this kind of projection. But do you have to change the 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 lambda according to the chart of P inside the model, or you could find just one lambda that works for all P? Uh, in your definition, you say, oh, give me P and they will find the lambda. But let me do I mean, I think you can probably put all in one lambda. Yeah. That's the. Um, I mean, obviously it's stronger. So, but I don't know what I actually get in the proof. But, but I think you. Well, you will see what I get mm -hmm. in lambda, and then we will. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the theory, the proposition is that uh, suppose that theta is more than kappa regular and m elementary in h theta is good, then p kappa is semi proper for m. So if you have a model which meets the, these conditions, which I listed, mm -hmm. then uh, P kappa is semi proper for one, that one signal. Mm -hmm. Well, there, so, I mean, a priori, that doesn't mean that there is anything, that there is any model which is good. Mm -hmm. So you, you need to say that there is enough of them and you will get semi properness. So as there is corollary, if there exists a local club of good models, M, then P kappa is stationary self preserving Okay, so uh, um, there is this condition that in order for, okay, so if you want your faucet to be semi-proper, it needs to be semi-proper for club many models. But if you want it to be stationary set preserving, it only needs to be semi-proper for local club many models. And I assume that you don't know what's a local club. <laughs> uh, local club, so if C subset uh, x to the omega, so these are uh, countable subsets of x, is a local club if for weak club many x bar, which are subsets of uh, cardinality omega 1, uh, the restriction of c to x bar omega contains a club. So, uh, I said weak club, but uh, it's just a usual notion of club on x to the omega 1. But this came as a question. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's tested for club uh, For club many, but the issue is there are two defin non equivalent definitions of being a club. Okay. You mean close number of the score? Yeah, uh, when I say club, I mean close for the score and function. But when I say weak, say weak club, I mean topological definition. And uh, because I, I think the way I wrote it here, I mean, none of this will be. Yeah, but the first of you mean close under change? Should uh, close under 
Yeah, close down uh, in, in this in this process. Close down bounded in this process. Okay. So uh, I couldn't repeat actually. But, <laughs> uh, but the point is that the way I want it here, uh, I mean, there would be, no, there it cannot it be cloud of these because. The risk of this could hang around. They are just non equivalent in the C? Or no. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, okay, okay, okay. So, if the man knows, they are the same. Okay. They're the same for, I guess, X omega. Yeah. So we club a uh, local club is club is kind of black black box. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have to uh, yeah. Uh, if I just come to uh, X omega, they the same or is there some is there some special case where they're the same? The same can be close to the downward. So there is some increase in one of the one. What thing? The which club? Oh no, no the. Anyway, you should continue. Okay, club implies we club, otherwise it's uh, it independent. <laughs> but uh, I, I think the thing will actually show that we have problem ones. I just quoted the, the, this spang yak paper. So I just quoted the, what they they show that local club of semi proper models implies. So I just quoted the clip. Okay, so how do we ensure that we have local problem good models? We have this thing called, so what does it mean? Uh, formula 5, A is good at kappa. If for all X, which are stationary subsets of omega 1, uh, in the collapse, we collapse mm -hmm. omega less than kappa. So when you make up omega 1, we have the following. For all mu, which are models or for Phi, and here it's important you have mu because now phi is a L omega one of omega sentence, so a consistent one, so it has a model. There exists a tau, which is an elementary bedding from V to some inner model W with critical point omega one V, and which satisfies that omega one V V is in tau of S. Or in other words, when you derive the, the filter from the embedding at omega one. S is in the filter. Uh, and there exists some mu bar, which is a model for tau of phi. Satisfying it for all, okay, so let, let's see. So mu bar is a mu evaluation. So you, you get this mu, which is a model for phi, but now when you do tau, you extend phi, you prolong it, okay? So you need to find a model for it, for phi, for tau of phi, but the model doesn't need to be in, in W in V anywhere. It's in this collapse universe, but it needs to exist. It needs to agree with mu, meaning that for every subformula psi of phi, uh, mu, mu cap evaluates its, its stretched version the same way that mu evaluates nothing. So essentially mu bar extends. Okay, so theorem if phi is AS good at kappa, then P sub kappa is stationary set preserving. In other words, there is a local club of good ones. So proof. So this is the first line. Let theta be large enough regular. It suffices to show that there are local club many good models and elementary instead. So okay, so let R be a uh, well ordering of H theta and let H be the structure H theta epsilon R kappa phi so everything relevant is in, in this H matrix calligraphy H we want to show that for all X elementary in H satisfying that omega 1 is subset of X and that X has cardinality omega 1 we have that club many countable M elementary X are good okay so what do I mean here so this is the so this local club will be the club of elementary submodels of H, which contain all of omega 1, but have cardinality exactly met. So you, you see now that this must be, uh, does, does this need to be a big club? I mean, okay, so in any case, this is kind of a different condition. So 
uh, these axes, there is enough of them. So you, you just need to show that for every such x, there is a club many m elementary x which are good. And notice, I mean, th there is no confusion with definitions. If m is elementary in x, it is elementary in h theta as well. So we have the notion of goodness. Okay. Let x elementary h satisfy omega 1 starts with x. And okay, x is of cardinality omega 1. That's an arbitrary. Okay, we denote by calligraphy x the structure of x inherited from h. Uh, so let us assume towards contradiction that there exists a stationary S the subset x square bracket omega. So there is a stationary such that for all, okay, so what I'm assuming, what I have here, I have stationary S of countable models such that for all M, all models in S, it holds that M is not good. So I, I can make sure that M is elementary in this structure X because there is club many such things, but I can then there exists a witness PM that M is not good. Okay. Uh, because remember being good means being good for every condition P in the model. So there is a condition which witnesses failure of goodness. By, by pressing down, to, uh, there exists a single condition and P in P kappa intersection X and the stationary subset S prime of S uh, such that P witnesses that M is not good for all models in S prime. So we just make sure that we have one condition which, which witnesses failure of goodness for everything. Okay. Let E map omega 1 to X be a bijection. So enumerate X in order to have omega 1. And then pick set T of alphas less than omega 1, such that pointwise image of alpha is a model in S prime. And the intersection of, of this pointwise image with omega 1 is alpha. So take omega 1. And I mean, we have some kind of thing like this. This is X, which is elementary in H theta. <coughs> So omega one enumerates these things, and so uh, if we go to omega one, we get kind of parts like this, which are countable, countable model, and we have this kind of closure. Property. Okay, t then t is stationary in omega one, so you you pull back the bad witness uh, as a stationary set of, of omega one. Okay, so now let lambda uh, be in E, so the index point. Be such that for all etas less than lambda, kappa intersection tau h of v eta is subset lambda. What does this mean? If you take any eta less than lambda, and you take, so you have this h, which is h theta, whole structure, and you take a tau of v eta, that a priori adds new model, new, new ordinals about eta. But because you can, you know, cl close it, this is a standard argument, you, you have closure points, you have many closure points, you can plot many closure points. So you pick lambda. So I, I don't know, this should answer the uh, Matteo's question. But I think your, your good definition is sufficient because, I mean, probably, yeah, since you have a club, you could take uh, lambda, which accommodates all, all the. Of the, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's okay. So, okay, H, let H be V generic for collapsed omega less than kappa. Uh, this is not what I wanted to say, I think. But, uh, ah, okay, so, ah, okay, so, so everything up to this point was in V, so that there was no, okay? Now we pass to a generic, uh, uh, generic extension, collapse omega less, so collapse kappa to be omega one. You, you do this because we want to apply A as goodness. This is the only tool that we actually have, okay? So G is now in this VH, G is V generic for P lambda and contains this bad condition P. 
So we have many good generics, you just pick one. Okay, but this G is a generic for P lambda. You, you can look at the, its component, its first component, like the working parts, and put them together. That gives you, that gives you an evaluation. Uh, mu, mu G, and that's a model for pi. Okay, so we work in VH. This is the, the, the collapsed universe. Universe in which omega 1, the kappa is omega 1. Okay, so now, since pi is as good, there exists elementary bending tau from B to W. And there exists this M hat, which is a model for tau of pi, such that critical point of tau is omega 1 V, omega 1 V is in ta tau of T, and for all subformulas psi, M hat agrees with mu, mu hat agrees with mu on psi. So this is what AS good is here. Okay. Okay, now you go to W. In W, you have the image of H tau of H theta. Okay, so N is the how, it's called how because you have uh, well we fixed the order. So N is the how in tau of H of omega 1 V union tau of V. So you, you take omega whole of omega 1v, that's a countable ordinal in W, and you add this image of this pair condition on top, and you, you take the minimal closure. That, that's some elementary model of H, tau of H. So it holds that n is in W, because whole computation is in W, n is countable in W. Uh, okay, n is the elementary in point-wise image of X, which is of course elementary in the normal images. But uh, tau, tau square bracket X, point-wise image of X, remember X is this one thing which we fixed of cardinality omega 1, okay? Uh, so tau of X is not necessarily, I mean it won't be in W, but N and tau ordinary image of X are in W. So uh, they are separated with, with this uh, point by image of X. And this will be more than, like, you, you use these two to actually be in the game. Okay, so delta N, meaning the, the intersection with omega 1 <coughs> of model N is just omega 1 V. This follows from the fact that, well, this follows from the previous line. Mm -hmm. And we said that omega 1 V is in tau of Okay. What do you mean, Howard, since we assume that Omega 1V is in Tau? Uh, yeah, it was your starting point for, for the AS good uh, relative to T, no? Yeah, the, the second, yeah, okay, second part is from the assumption, but the first equality mm -hmm. is from, from the. Yeah. Okay. X and Tau X the same thing, right? Except one is the set and the other is the structure, but otherwise, yeah. So if you mean the uh, mean how X is the one that you mean in here? Yeah. Oh it's the point it's the point 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 point. Okay, so let Q be okay, tau of WP, tau of MB union n is projected to tau of lambda. So you have p, you just map it with tau. And then you add one more model on top. And this is this model, n projected to tau of lambda. So this one. I mean, okay, you can just make this definition, but we will show that q is in a tau of uh, uh, image of p kappa, so it's a condition. And uh, this Q strengthens tau of P. This is non trivial. This is the, the essence of the proof. Uh, but let's say we, we call some object to know that this is true. Uh, how do we continue? It shows, okay, it follows that in W, tau of P does not witness that N is not good. And okay, then I have a double negation, but okay. So, uh, 
I mean, what did it, did it mean to be good? To be good means means that you, you can find this extension q. Extension q with n on top. So uh, n may not may not be good, but uh, certainly the counter example is not tau p because we found the q which works. However, uh, we also have the negation of this. I mean, okay, so. Remember the delta of n, like this line, delta of n is omega 1 of p, and this is in tau of p. So by elementality, remember that tau relates in a particular way is this s prime, okay? So the, the, we have that n is tau in tau of s prime. s prime, okay, so by definition of s prime in elementality of tau, this means that in w, tau of p witnesses that n is not good. Because S prime is the set of all models for which P does witness that, 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 that N is not good. Okay, and this is just a contradiction. So, can I move to the next one? Okay, so we are done. So, can QED module of claim 10? And here's what claim 10 was. We said that uh, Q is tau WP followed by cosine conditions tau of MP. And on top n projected the tau lambda, then q is in, in the image of p kappa and q extends tau of p. Okay, this needs to be verified. So the only non-trivial part is that q is in the image of p kappa, because other inclusion is simple, like extension, uh, the order in the, is a very simple thing. Okay, so let us assume to the contrary, let us assume that q is not a condition in tau p kappa. Okay, then there exists a winning strategy sigma for player one in GW at tau kappa of Q. Okay, uh, we will defeat this strategy in VH reaching a contradiction. Okay, so, sorry for the typo, it's important in VH. So, what, what, is, what is H generic for P kappa? For collapse. Okay. So this is very okay. So G is, is generic for the fourth thing p kappa and uh, no G is generic for the fourth thing p lambda. And, for the uh, lambda yes. But uh, okay. So we will give us uh, give ourselves a lot of space. Mm -hmm. So we are going to collapse. That's G B H. So and we have this picture. Okay. So uh, saying the first sentence. That there is a winning strategy, that's just a fact of W. So, but, so we want to show that that fact is wrong, but we don't show that it's wrong in W, we show that it's wrong in this huge universe VH. Okay? But by, by absoluteness, because games are closed, this, the, the, the game is closed, uh, this suffices. If you can defeat the strategy in VH, you can defeat it in W. Okay, let player one play according to sigma. So oh, how do we need the strategy? Let player one play according to sigma, that's what we need. And let us know that player two can play by maintaining that for all n in minus one to omega, there exists R, W, and P, such that, okay, so what do we have? So at every moment in the game, player two wants to ensure that Pn, the current position, is of the following form tau of some wr followed by some w, that's the working part, and tau of nwr followed by some model p on top, p projected to tau of lambda. What do I mean by this? So the starting position, it's all, okay, so every, every, every position in the game will have a working part which we will split things which come from v and things which do not come from me, and its side condition bar with the also split things which come from me, and only one thing which doesn't come from me, and it's a thing on top, thing of the highest strength. Okay, the, this thing R which comes from me will furthermore come from the generic for P lambda, the generic G which we fixed in the beginning. Uh, okay. 
And so now P, we will put even more restrictions of P. So there exists finite F of point-wise image of V lambda, such that V is half of omega 1 V followed by F. So in addition to omega 1 V, so these are the ordinals which, which, we, which are necessarily in V, we will just have finitely many more generators. So it's a very simple, P, P will be very simple, okay? And for every W, set of subformulas of tau pi, finite set of subformulas, uh, mu hat satisfies W, and W intersection point by the image of B is empty. What does this mean? Working paths, this is the working path. The first part is necessarily according to mu, uh, because because of this condition, that because i is in g, mu comes from g, so this part needs to be according to mu, or mu has it as The w is this thing which will grow wildly through the game, let's say, well, okay, but you have this nice extension mu cat, you just make sure that your that part w is according to mu cat. And the, the third thing means just that what is mu cat then? Uh, in AS goodness, you get that uh, there is tau, the, the mm -hmm. embedding, but there is the, so embedding stretches for okay, okay. and the Okay, so this magic evaluation that you have uh, exactly. by, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the above conditions are satisfied for n equals minus one and p minus one equals q. Okay, so obviously p minus one is by definition q, so, and it's okay. The, the model, the, the condition has this form. Okay, so let us consider now n more or equal to zero. So the game is, is starting, and the move qn of player one. Okay, so what is the uh, player one plays? Well, I want to say player one plays some qn, and we will have some cases. So fix r, w, and p as in, in, in this in, in C, so these things which I explained. But with respect, but with respect to p n minus one, I mean this is what we are maintaining inductively fixed one for fixed weaknesses for p n minus one. Okay, we will distinguish four possibilities for question q n. In each case, we show that player two can make the next move and preserve conditions from C. Uh, I mean, then we inductively just continue mega many steps, and that means that the player two survive the mega many steps. So he cannot lose, but sigma is the winning strategy for player one and we reach it. Okay, case one, Qn is a formula psi from the, from the breaking part and psi is a disjunction. So player two now needs to pick one thing, one disjunct and add it to his breaking part, okay? Well, we, we have mu hat that says the same sign, so just pick the addition according to mu hat and add it to your working part. So all conditions are preserved. Uh, case two, uh, player one uh, plays a conjunction and picks one conjunct. Well, you just add it. There is nothing to do uh, because inductively this formula is satisfied by mu hat. So Every contract needs to be set so that you get so you can use the thing. So here's the non-trivial part, uh, two non-trivial things. Case three, player one plays a model and a dense set. But I now say not any model, just the top model. The, the other models will be different case. So player uh, P, P restricted, uh, P projected to tau lambda and then set B in P of tau lambda. Okay, so what do we do, we do in this case? Well, we, we take a row, which is the collapse. Remember, this projection means that uh, the th things collapse, that the tau of P tau lambda proje projects to, collapses to P restricted to tau lambda. And you only collapse D by row, that's this D plus. That's our condition in P, and P is real elementary substructure of H theta of your universe. And D plus is the real dense set in tau of P kappa. Uh, okay, but D plus 
comes from something from B. Because P, everything in P comes from something in B. So V bar plus. Uh, so now I reflect V bar. So I, I take this V bar plus, I reflect it to lambda. I get some V bar. I mean, can, can you go back? So you have this P, which is a subtractor of uh, something. P, so P is the one given by the condition, but it's a subtraction of tau of H theta. Okay. Now you take the tau of P with tau of V lambda. Okay. Yes. And embed it inside. Because the sign condition, the type condition is the projection of P, not P yes. itself. So you can add an So I don't follow. So you. Um, so you get um, so this is something like this is theta so p is something like this oh uh -huh. everything is moved right now so this is okay so this is p but then you fit some lambda here and you put it yeah yes. so your your uh, well, so you, you need this part now. Mm -hmm. This is your sum condition, and your, your dense set is from this, is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, since this comes from the projection, mm -hmm. you, you can, uh, I mean, this D comes from D plus here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now in reality, you, uh, D will work in this, so we put it back to V. So this D plus become, it has a free image. Uh-huh. Okay. Because this D this, this plus is contained in tau of point by the image of X. Uh, yes. It's Beyond good. to tau of point by the image of X. Exactly. Yeah. And remember the figure is yes, the yes, yes, yes. generated yes. scene. Yeah. So you, you now pull back, okay, so now when you pull back to B, you get tau bar plus, so that's this mm -hmm. free image. Uh, now you, you intersect it with lambda. Mm -hmm. uh, and should be the case that everything that I wrote and the elementality of lambda gives you that you actually this. Mm -hmm. When you copy, you, you are... Um, the, the, the set density lambda. Mm -hmm. It is actually equal, no? The cut uh, to, to V lambda. Uh, I don't think they are equal. I mean, but morally, I mean, I don't because, think that because you this V lambda should look like the kappa in the in the P. Mm. I mean, the, the, I mean, by the way you made your collapse, I guess that V lambda is exactly, uh, if you, when you do the anti-collapse of the star with V lambda, you will get V kappa. Yes. So your V plus will be mapped to a subset of V kappa. Mm. So your V will go by row minus one, will go to a subset of V kappa. Yes, yes. So it will be like a... It will be against that in V kappa, essentially. Yeah. But, um, so, but it was dense, uh, its, its part in V lambda was already dense in V lambda. So you, you will add more stuff yeah. and you will make sure that they are dense in V kappa. Well, it doesn't change. Yeah. But you, you, yeah, you will see, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay, so but the, the point was here, okay, so. Because now D bar is dense in V lambda, there exists a condition S and D bar in bar intersection R generic. Mm -hmm. And that condition uh, extends R because mm -hmm. R is also. Okay, we now have that the point wise image of tau is in the point wise, tau, point wise image of S, no, sorry, image of S is in the image of D bar. Mm -hmm. And that's just D by elementality. Uh, but now we can make new, new model V prime. Mm -hmm. Which is how of omega one pre previous generator set 
and one more generator, this tau of x. Uh, when I do that, I get the delta of p prime equal to delta of p. Why? Because everything is contained in the point by the image of x. So you cannot increase omega 1. Uh, new condition, the new, new move of the player to how does player to respond? He takes this tau of s, which stands in previous r, okay, and uh, keeps the previous w, you know, the, the addition to the present part. On the second coordinate, it takes the side conditions of ms and the one more model on top, which model will this be p prime group. And that, that's a free condition, so it's a correct move. And this Pn extends Pn minus 1 and extends tau s. So to see that extends tau s, that's obvious. I mean, both are obvious, essentially, because, because you, you need to recall how this relates to R. And it's essentially R here, W here, R here, P here. But what did we do? S extends R, so we are good. Okay, so this is going to make the move in this case. And there is a fourth case when you play a side condition, but not the final one, one of the previous ones. And you play a then set. So this is a, well, this is the argument, the, the hardest one. Do, do you want, do you have still time or do you want to hear the, the repeat? Really? Together, not too much. <laughs> but it's a similar idea, yeah? Uh, I mean, you, you have one more day. I mean, you have more density arguments. So you have to unfold this definition. I, I will have to do that. You, you use, here you use the, the, the also, the, remember that every poster mm -hmm. was defined by playing the game. Mm -hmm. So here you will draw, because the D is now, this is a forest land, mm -hmm. you will draw to a lower cost. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will need to use there that you have a strategy for the game there. Mm -hmm. So far we are not looking mm -hmm. out for the game on the at mm -hmm. but we are now looking at the game. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's a uh, side of complication. And one, once we have that, uh, the really better contradiction in this really serves the problem. I, I, I just have one question. Why you want to do the universal quantification over all possible evaluation in this AS uh, condition? Uh, I, because in your proof, you just use the evaluation given by a generic for the. Pilar. Yes. But uh, P, uh, it's saying that G is generic for P lambda, that includes the definition of P lambda. But if you look at the formulation of, of AS goodness, there is no mention of the positive itself. AS goodness is purely combinatorial statement. It doesn't. It doesn't yes, mean. yes, but uh, the problem is that um, you might, uh, I mean, you have to, uh, it's much harder to check this condition because you might have. Uh, uh, you might have uh, evaluation that are coming up uh, in, in cases that are not for generic for your process. I mean that's true, uh, but I mean yeah, we, in the in the Asperger case it works out because all evaluations are essentially descriptions of the of, of these two iterations which they need. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter, but I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Might come out in a well. Uh, we we kind of wanted a quantum theorem, and uh, th th this kind of uh, it doesn't mention the construction, but mm -hmm. if you bench into more applications, I guess it might come up as a problem. Mm -hmm. But you would think of it. I mean, you would think of it that all these evaluations are essentially the same. Yeah. So then and maybe you're thinking, you're thinking of the construction, otherwise you're not simplified. <laughs> <laughs> okay.